Automation is a critical part of database administration because it reduces the total cost of ownership of the enterprise by allowing repeatable tasks to be carried out with little to no human intervention. Automation in SQL Server is made possible with the SQL Server agent. It is a Microsoft Windows service that executes scheduled administrative tasks which are called jobs in SQL Server. The SQL Server agent is primarily made up of four components. These components define the task to be performed, when to perform the task, and how to report success or failure of the task. The first component is the job component. A job specifies a series of actions that SQL Server agent performs. Use jobs to define administrative tasks that can be run one or more times and monitored for success or failure. A job can run on a local server or multiple remote servers. You can run jobs in several ways. You can run them according to one or more schedules, in response to one or more alerts, or by executing the SP start job procedure. Each action in a job is a step. For example, a step may consist of running a TSQL, executing an SSIS package, or issuing a command to analysis services server. Each job step are managed as part of a job. These jobs can be scheduled. A schedule specifies when a job runs. More than one job can run the same schedule, and more than one schedule can apply to the same job. A schedule can run whenever the SQL Server agent starts up, whenever the CPU utilization of a computer is at a level you defined as idle. It can run one time, at a specific time and date, or on a recurring schedule. The other component of the SQL Server agent are alerts. An alert is pretty much an automatic response to a specific event. For example, an event can be a job that starts or a system resource that reach a specific threshold. You can define various conditions under which alerts occurs. An alert can respond to SQL Server events, SQL Server performance conditions, or Microsoft Windows Management Instrumentation, shortened as WMMI. An alert can perform an action such as notify one or more operators, or even run a job. The other component of the SQL Server agent is the operators. An operator defines a contact information for an individual responsible for the maintenance of one or more instances of SQL Server. This could be an individual or even an entire group. One of the most common ways SQL Server can notify operators about alerts are through emails, although the option for pager is available. In order to have access to the SQL Server agent, the user must be a member of the SQL Server agent user role, SQL agent reader role, and SQL agent operator role. If a user does not belong to any of these roles, they can't use the SQL Server agent.